Yes, it was uh, great to look back on that. And John, I mean, you've had a look at the goals. What a sensational season. Yes, it certainly has been a great season for both Gary and his team, Sandy. And we at BP are very happy to present this award in, in uh, association with Channel 7 to Gary for what has been truly a remarkable season. You better give it to him now before he flips Gary, off. Gary, congratulations and all the best for 1990. Thanks very much, John. I'd just like to thank uh, BP and Channel 7 and uh, God for making this award possible. Gary, congratulations. Now, we're not going to let you go without having another look at this because uh, we'll have a look at the tape now. It was the one against Collingwood. Now, what were your thoughts here? Well, I was just thinking now I've just uh, dropped the mark that I should have taken, so I thought I'd better make amends. So, um, I was fortunate enough to get it back. And as I kicked the ball, I got knocked over, so I wasn't sure where the ball was going, whether it was going through or not. And as I looked up, it was going through, so I was pretty excited about it. Yeah, it was a tremendous yeah. goal. And uh, <coughs> you've given so many people many great thrills this season. You're heading off overseas. When do you go? Uh, we go Monday. Monday and uh, Tuesday. All right. Yeah. All the best over there. I know Blighty's not going to make the trip, but I'm sure you'll be well looked after. And uh, good luck in the matches being played over there. And good luck for next year as well. Thanks very much, Andy. And John, thank you to BP. Uh, a grand the last four weeks, I guess, in particular, you'd have to be relatively pleased. Oh, yeah, we're very pleased uh, the way we went in the finals. Um, unfortunately, we never took it off, but um, even even though we never won the grand final, we, we've gained a lot of experience through that, and that should help us in the future. What was the feeling when Malcolm insisted that you stay out on the ground and watch the Hawthorne boys get their medals? Was there a general feeling of right this is it, this is the aim. Oh yeah, I guess um, you know, Malcolm's idea of that was you know, for us to, to have a good look at what it's you know, really all about and um, to sort of maybe give us a bit more hunger for next year. So, At the start of the season, Gary, did you set yourself goals? Were there aims and ambitions for you and the team? Oh yeah, I guess you, know, you always set yourself personal goals, but um, you know, um, the team more important. So um, you know, obviously um, we did set team goals for the season and um, you know, Malcolm, uh, being a you know a great coach, we were able to uh, you know to reach every goal, but the the big one at the end. So we went uh, very close. A lot's been said about Malcolm. Is there any one character in his makeup? I mean, he's only a young coach, right. but is there any one character do you think in his makeup that is able, for example, being able to bring out the best in you and the other boys down there? Oh, yeah. Malcolm's you know he's a good bloke. He he's a uh, a very sensible coach. Um, you know, self-controlled. And he's got a good approach to the game. And um, <clears throat> you know, since Malcolm come, you know, and we've, you know, a lot of the players' attitudes have changed. Um, we uh, really, we've really enjoyed our season under Malcolm, and I think that's helped us all tremendously. And it certainly improved our football. Now I had a chat to your mum, Colleen, up at Drillon. Yep. <clears throat> and I asked her. I said, now, Colleen, if there's one facet or one aspect of Gary's game that has improved in recent times, what would it be? And she said, he's quicker now. Right. Now, is Mum right? Oh, I, I don't know whether, you know, I picked up any pace, but um, as I said, um, you know, I think our attitudes have changed um, and uh, we, we're all really enjoying our football now. And I think that that, that can have a, uh, you know, a, that sort of effect on your game where, you know, you just seem to do better. Well, have you made a, a conscious effort, for example, to to improve any part of your game, maybe the defensive side of your game or anything like that? Um, oh yeah, I've, you know, worked, we've all worked harder this year because you know, we, we, really, uh, we thought we could really do well this year. We've all been very keen throughout the year and um, I, uh, you know, I guess that we, did, we worked very hard pre-season. Um, Malcolm's, you know, he, he worked us hard at tackling and uh, you know, making sure that we applied pressure on the other sides. And, um, but other than that, I think you know it's just been the, the normal, the normal training. You didn't mind the pre-season? Oh no, no, I enjoy the the, the pre-season, but uh, <laughs> you know they, you've got to do them. But yeah. um, you know it's uh, it's really been rewarding to uh, to finish off the year the way we have. Mm. Uh, uh, Gary, your mum, Colleen, also said he said, oh, I said, has he changed much? She said, oh, he's um, he's a bit quieter now, but she said, I suppose that's because he's uh, he's getting older and you know the family and everything, but. Obviously, Christianity has played a part in that. Has it not? How has it changed? You? Oh yeah, yeah, it certainly has. Um, I, um, I guess I have, uh, you know, settled down a lot and um, been able to concentrate a lot more on, on my football this year. And um, you know, it uh, certainly has helped. Yeah. Even uh, Bob Davis, who is partial towards Geelong, is now finally aligning you with Dennis Marshall, who he said was the greatest player he'd seen. 
I want to ask you just a couple of questions on opponents, though. Right. Who, who have you found the toughest? Um, well, I guess that's a tough question, but uh, I, um, <clears throat> I guess um, one of the players that I'd find probably uh, one of the most underrated in the league would be um, uh, Danny Frawley from St Kilda. Right. Um, I think he's a you know he's a good player. He's he's quick over the, the first 20 metres. Um, he's very strong, and um, you know I'd, I'd probably say he'd he'd be one of the, the hardest opponents I've played against. Last question: You've played defence, attack, across the centre, on the ball. Your favourite position? Oh, I'd say um, forward flank. I played in the forward flank in the finals, and um, you know, I found that to be the uh, the best position to play. So it's been good. Spend that petrol money wisely, won't you? I will, Sandy. Have a good trip overseas, and we look forward to seeing you in 1990. Thank you very much.